This is John the Witness on the Mind Blowers channel, bringing you hardcore Bible facts. Too many Christians have allowed the mainstream news media to lull them into a deep sleep. Remember the parable of the ten virgins, where five virgins were ready with oil in their lamps, while the other five were lazy and sleepy. Jesus Christ then warned us not to be like the lazy virgins, because he will come like a thief in the night. Why did Jesus warn us in this manner? All the videos I posted are meant to wake the church up and to have oil ready in their lamps before it is too late. One way to try to wake you up is to start describing some of the many patterns of deception Satan's children are using in the mainstream media, especially the news. This video covers several ways Satan stages events in order to both distract you from the truth and lure you into a trap like the snares Jesus warned us about. If you identify more patterns, let me know. Here are the patterns so far. Agent provocateur, mass mind control, false flag, Hollywood movie set, good cop, bad cop, and evil is good. Agent provocateur, this pattern is a divide and conquer strategy where the leaders of both sides of a conflict are paid agents or crisis actors. The goal is to draw out real people on both sides to antagonize each other in various ways, including violence. This pattern is also used when government officials, law enforcement, or the military is pitted against civilians to cause conflict between both sides. The 1905 Bloody Sunday Massacre in Russia is a good example. In that one, the peasant workers were led to protest against the supposed excesses of the Russian monarchy known as the Tsars. The mystery group who wanted to overthrow the Tsars hired double agents to pose as a labor union leader and clergy to lead over a thousand real protesters to a certain square in front of the Tsar palace to demand reforms. Little did the people know the same mystery group had also hired Russian military leaders to have a firing squad ready to open fire on the people as they entered the square to protest. The resulting massacre ended up making the Tsars look very bad as the news media reported that the Tsars' own guard opened fire. This negative press set off a series of anti-Tsar strategies that led to the Russian royals being massacred themselves a little over 10 years later. Mass Mind Control a major news event that consists of paid crisis actors with the goal of pushing the mood of the masses in a certain direction for a desired outcome. One desired outcome might be to nudge a certain percentage of the population into a mental depression, which then leads to an increase in the purchase of antidepressant medications. Another outcome might be to increase the number of military enlistees by pushing a percentage of the population into increased anger, such as what happened after the 9-11 attacks. False Flag In this pattern, there are at least three main groups. Group A would be the mastermind group trying to cause a war between Group B and Group C. It's similar to Agent Provocateur, except Group A would disguise themselves as one of the other groups, say Group B and launch an attack against the other group, Group C. So that Group C blames Group B instead of the real perpetrator, Group A. World War I and World War II were both started by false flags. Hollywood Movie Set In this pattern, every person participating in it are paid crisis actors or intelligence double agents. The movie Iron Man 3 touched on this. North Korea is a good example of this as well. Ever notice that North Korea is the only nation that seems to defy and threaten America decade after decade, yet no ruler has been taken out like the US did with Saddam Hussein or in Libya. Just take a look at a Google's map to see that North Korea provides America a good excuse 
for staying close to China and Russia, which of course is right next to China. Another example of this pattern are the West-backed terror groups Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Ever wonder why their audio and video clips somehow mysteriously appear in mainstream me media faster than local news? The mass shootings in the U.S. in recent years are also following this pattern. The so-called moon landings are yet another example. Good cop, bad cop. In this pattern, two actors play against each other to get the public to want one actor to destroy the other. Actor A is the good cop or hero, while actor B is the bad cop or villain. Actor B is portrayed as evil by the news media using fear tactics to intimidate the public enough to make them want someone to do something about this bad guy. In comes actor A, the hero, to push the angry actor B aside and speak gently to the public, reassuring them that everything is going to be alright. This disarms the public, making them trust actor A. As simple as it sounds, this has been the basis of U.S. foreign policy for over a hundred years. In World War I and World War II, Germany was actor B, the bad guy, while America was actor A, the good guy. Yes, for those that still don't know, Nazi Germany was the quote-unquote North Korea of the late 1930s that the world hated, especially after the Jews declared economic war against the country in the early 1930s. Little did the public know, Nazi Germany was the brainchild of the U.S. to give it a reason to be the hero of Europe, thus paving the way for a stronger world government under the United Nations and the United States, which conveniently the U.N. is based in New York. Hitler was funded by the U.S. and his propaganda films were designed by Hollywood. Evil is good. In this pattern, the masterminds behind the media use repetition and a combination of the previously mentioned patterns to convince the public that what it had historically thought was evil is actually good. For instance, many people don't know that anal sex was actually a very serious crime throughout the world and many states in the U.S. had laws on the books against it. Georgia made it a death penalty crime up until about 19 or eight or, 1908 or so, if I recall correctly. But the media, especially Hollywood, went to work convincing the public that anal sex is okay. And now, not many people blink an eye before having anal sex. Another evil that became good is murder by way of abortion. And in Hollywood, and Hollywood loves blaspheming the name of Jesus Christ, using it as a cuss word now, and no one really notices anymore. Keep this in mind. I'm John the Witness. Stay strong in the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen.